that is not a real triceratops, which in that case, I'm very con fuck I'm very fucking confused as to what we're teaching our fucking kids in school. On a side note, episode four. God, you sounded so like lethargic. Uh, <laughs> is it I'm actually eat- four? <laughs> yeah, I'm eating butterfingers. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ, nice. you picked the you one time saying? while we start recording Wait, for you to eat fucking like, butterfingers. You should have made the sure the actual show because this is not this is not sponsored in any way by Butterfinger. But, no, they're just like three months out of date, and so I got them but, for cheap. But on the other hand, okay. If Butterfinger wants to sponsor us. Right. Then. Fucking hell! I only hit snooze 85 times, okay? I'm tired of this fucking ad. Can we can we please talk about ad, the fucking ads on YouTube for a second here? Yeah, actually, they are really obnoxious as of lately. Yes. I, I come to the internet to get away from commercials, dude. <laughs> That's specifically why I don't pay for cable TV. No, it doesn't. Well, no, they updated Firefox, and you need to get an updated ABP. Well, I can tell you right now, it doesn't... Also, we're not sponsored in any way by Adblock Plus, but... Well, I mean, if Adblock Plus wants to give us their free premium service, that'd be nice. No, 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 no. See, you, you can't do that, Kyle. Because that's that's taking away from other creators. Unless you only whitelist the creators that you like, but then in which you're kind of a snob, so. I mean, I I mostly prefer Adblock Plus for... This coming from the guy who's like, I don't subscribe to any channels. I only subscribe to the ones I care about that are worth subscribing to because I'm associating my name with them. <laughs> yeah, fuck Look. you, Jesse. <laughs> it's not... Not the point. Okay. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> anyway, Jesse, look at the link I sent in chat. Do you, do you think this is an adequate warehouse? For a warehouse for what? He said for, we should run a warehouse and record. In. On Kime Street. This is over by. Oh, I shouldn't have said the street. On location. Quack Street. Yes. Yeah. Um, Quack Street. I know exactly where this is. And first of all, this is this is a warehouse full of like bricks and concrete and cement. <laughs> Okay. And it's $757,000. That's actually a really good price for a warehouse. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> hmm. Can we lease to own? Is, I think, oh, I, I think this is this, this is the own price, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I didn't look at leasing. There's only three available when I did uh, purchase. But yeah, back onto the ads. So, like, has anybody else gotten the ads recently where it looks like you can skip them, but they won't let you skip them? Yes. Oh my god, that's pissing me off so much. Yeah, yep. me too, because it's always like a minute advertisement, and I can't skip that shit. What okay. I found okay. is if, you, if you're on your phone <clears throat> app, just swipe down, close the video, and reopen it, and yeah, eventually yeah, yeah. you'll just, get one with a skippable ad or no ad. But, but, can, can I... Can I just talk to you for a second about how I got an ad the other day, okay, that actually forced me to get up out of my bed where I was comfortably laying down so that I could skip the ad because the ad was an hour and 28 minutes long. (laughs) No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. What the fuck was it? It was like a whole fucking documentary about something. The longest ad I've ever seen was, like, three minutes long. Uh, no, I, I had a 30-minute something come up once. It was, like, do you think a music some, Do you think somebody's ever, like, sat there and watched that whole hour ad? 
Like, yes. And if you watch that, like, how much ad revenue do you get? <laughs> uh, I, I don't, I think you, you get paid the ad revenue for an ad popping, whether someone watches the whole no. thing or only five seconds. I believe no, no. They, they have to watch the whole ad. Wow. So it, 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 if you're also skipping any ads in front of your favorite YouTube creators, you're also cheating them out of money. Well, that's why we need to reach out to like Audible and the Dollar Shave Club and see if they'll. Which is probably why us. they're making non-skippable ads for especially premium channels. Well, I'm I'm assuming that they'll want to put like the five second ads on premium channels that way. No, no, Jake, because actual real premium channels are on YouTube. Brand. The ones that aren't on things like YouTube Red and such. They have actual ads that they make inside of their videos. So on the topic of, on a side note, but not on a side note, kind of related, I had a thought, like, like, now since it's been like almost a month since we recorded our podcast, I had a, like, thought right after we did the other podcast, and I was thinking, like... That we need to get on a fucking schedule. Well, that... Anyway. But, Continue. Um, that they should, you know how like it, it'll say like, oh, this video was uploaded an hour ago, two hours ago, three, four, and then it'll be like one day, two days, and then but once you get into the years, it's like one year, two years, it's not like one point three years. Like they should measure every YouTube video like people obnoxiously do with their babies and be like, oh, this video is is like thirty. It's one hundred and twenty-seven months old. Seven weeks old. Yeah. <laughs> Like I feel like we should we should ask YouTube if we can like specially do that in all of our videos. Be like, hey, is there some way we can do this? Can you write us a special little tidbit of code that'll show our but, videos in weeks, <laughs> never months? Although that is kind of annoying. That you know, I don't know. I just I found it annoying because. <laughs> Every like twenty of these videos were recorded a year ago. Oh well, yeah, no shit. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should <clears throat> they should be more exact on the one point three years ago. Hey. One point three. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Fair enough, so I that, guess. One. What? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jake. Did you hear that uh, apparently um, uh, hospitals are going to start using ketamine to treat depression? La hospitals? I mean, I guess that's great. It worked for Steve-O, didn't it? <laughs> um, I, mean, I, didn't, I guess it kind of just put him into more of a deeper, darker depression. I didn't know they tried to... Mm. Well, uh, treat him ke with ketamine, ketamine hmm. widely used legally as an anesthetic and illegally in club settings, is emerging as a potential new treatment for some types of depression. That's that actually has been around for a long time. I, I remember reading about that like almost a year, maybe more than a year ago. But they were talking it was when they were originally starting the idea. They were talking about trying to use ketamine to treat uh, depression because ketamine has a lot of. I don't know the whole science behind it, but I know it has a lot of properties with, like, changing chemical shits in your brains and whatever. I don't know. My mom knows a lot more about them than I do, so... It's because she's a pharmacist. She is a pharmacist, as I like to call them, professional drug dealers. I don't... You know what I, I, I really wanna... I really hate about this? Like I always have like a million and a half things I want to talk about when we're actually filming the podcast, but I can't think of things that I actually wanted to talk about. Although I am remembering one right now. So guess what's coming out soon? What? Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. How exciting. Wahoo, the updated versions of the games I still can't beat the Elite Four in. Wait. I, uh, but but Moon, Sun and I, Moon have been out for a year. I know they're breaking their normal fucking. Oh no, never mind. Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, I believe, are only being released on the uh, the the new. Con the no, it's coming out for DS. What? Yeah, I thought what? they. I thought they were specifically making a point to release it on. I'm like what the fuck is their new the, the, tw okay. the switch? Thank no, you. I'm like ninety percent sure it's coming out for 3DS too. You're, you're probably right. 
and at that point, like, didn't Sun and Moon just come out? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they came out a year ago. It, it's, so, it, I remember seeing it on my time hop. I was like, oh, going to Walmart to pick up fucking whatever. Yeah, right here. Ultra Sun 3DS. So... What's the difference in each version? Well, not, not, not in each version. What's the difference between the, them and the fucking original game? Yeah, I, that's what I was actually kind of curious about. Is there going to be like any big difference between them, or is it just going to basically no. be the same game? Because the guy at the I went to GameStop the other day, and he was just like, "Oh," because I wanted to read by Alpha Sapphire, and he was just like, "Oh man, uh, you can um, uh, pre-order Sun and Moon for eighty uh, dollars, or if you want to go in with that on a friend." And I was just like, "Why?" Well, I, I haven't even beat fucking Moon yet because I'm so frustrated with that goddamn game. Why the hell do I want to pre-order Sun and Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon together? First of all, which actually eighty dollars, thinking about it, is a pretty good price for two games because normally what a PlayStation game or an Xbox game is like almost seventy bucks now, brand new. Yeah. Well, all Pokemon games come out at like thirty-five or forty dollars. And then they go up to like sixty after their, like after like five years, because Pokemon just gains value yeah. over time. For some reason, I don't, I don't. Because sniveling that little one. shitty kids break their copies and then get out of their parents. I need a new one. Or because, you know, hardcore fans like or, us are yeah, like, or because mm, you know, I sold all my stuff, but now the nostalgia train is hitting home hard, and I need a new copy, dude. <laughs> 30-something-year-old virgins who live under the basement and their parents' stairs. Under the basement. Under the basement, the basement in the so stairs. Basement. It's <laughs> <all> <laughs> 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 there's nice. And then there's the Tron. <laughs> I have nothing to, I have nothing to come back from that. This is some basement. It's below the basement. But yeah, like I, I have it's in the stairs. I think I I think I finally got past the second island challenge. I got there's like what what are they like totems and then you do like the island challenge, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think I finally got past the second one and and I actually started getting into the game again, but then I bought Alpha Sapphire again because you know that was like my favorite one and then I'm actually realizing that I fucking hate that game again. What, Sun or Sapphire? Sapphire. Why do you hate Sapphire? It's so good. It's my favorite one. But, like, uh, I don't know what happened with that game, but for some reason you level up so much faster than the Pokemon in the areas that you're going to. So, like, I made it to... You, you know how you go to the boat, or you get the boat, and then you go to that little tiny island, and then you go to the other, like, new part of the island? In Sapphire, you know what I'm talking about? You're you Duford and then Slateport. Yes, Is that what you're yeah, talking yeah. About? So like, I have I picked um uh, what the fuck's the water Pokemon in that game? What's his name? Um, uh, Mudkip. Mudkip. I I, <laughs> I got heard you him. like Mudkips. Yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. got him right, and he's already a level twenty, and all the Pokemon in the grass are like level four still, and he's evolved. So, like, it's literally one hit. I don't even have a chance of catching them. And I remember that from playing Emerald, that that happened when I had that game originally. My Pokemon were so goddamn strong that I killed everything well, so fast in the in the wilderness. Well, now, now you know what you gotta do, Jake. You have to go and you have to play Pokemon Go inside of Pokemon and just run around throwing Pokeballs. Like, don't even try to hurt them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then waste all my Pokeballs because it's a lot easier to get Pokeballs in Pokemon Go. I mean, I disagree. They, they they even have the thing where you can go back and rebattle people in this, so money's like not a thing that you need to worry about. Oh, can you do? You can do that in all of them, right? You can just go back and rebattle people, and you get money for doing it again. Since the original gold and silver, yeah. yes. Um, yeah. I really need to play Heart Gold. Do you own a copy? No, I don't. Then you're going like to be out $55? Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know, I, I never... So I know the one I never had a copy of. It was, uh, I guess, X and Y. Uh, 
I like X and Y. It's probably my favorite of the, the newer games. Oh my god, how did... I have an original copy of gold still. Oh, you did. How much that goes for? Let's go on eBay. On, gold. Sadly, I'm pretty sure an original copy of gold is less than heart gold. <laughs> uh, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, I mean, so online, like the version uh, better. so it looks like the, <clears throat> the, uh, from this price to this price for Pokemon Gold, the Game Boy Advance is from nine dollars to seventy four dollars. It's why is it GBA? It was a Game Boy Color game. But yeah, I'm I'm on that same eBay page. Oh yeah, it says GBA, GBC, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color cartridges, US versions. Re oh, the reproductions. Ugh. I don't like repros. I mean, they're they're super reliable. Honestly, the repros are probably better than the uh, originals because the battery's not dead. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here, uh, Pokemon Gold freshly replaced replaced, replaced. battery, twenty five dollars. <laughs> Although you said you wanted silver, Aaron. Oh, dude, 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 dude. So on eBay, the Pokemon Heart Gold and Heart Silver, they're sixteen bucks. Oh, like the actual Game Boy or DS, sixteen bucks. You can literally nice. buy them right Where? on eBay. I'm looking at the here. I'll send you the goddamn link. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how trustworthy this guy is. I didn't look at his stats or anything, but but yeah, you can totally get a copy. Oh, he's got yeah, a ninety eight positive feedback. So oh. yeah, Aaron, you get paid on Friday if you can put aside thirty bucks. You can get a nice uh, Pokemon Silver Game Boy Color. That's not how you send a link. Here you go. And that's an original cart. The All the repros aren't actual uh, silver embedded carts. But anyway, the... Uh, There's another one here for eight bucks. It, it's probably the repro. I just want to get GBA blank carts so we can load ROMs onto them. Dude, um, Ew, Kyle, that's stealing. All that's the, not dude, advertiser dude, friendly. All the ROMs for Pokemon have been taken off like every single website. Oh shit, I don't know if I, I only have Emerald, I think. Uh, I have em That's the only one I have too. I might have like Yellow, I think, but I already own Yellow on my 3DS. Yeah, so. I have the original of yeah. Yellow. I've got Yellow, Blue, Red, Gold. That's it. I only have the, or the, the, the original three, this? which I'm pretty happy <clears throat> about owning, but I never owned silver or crystal. I sort of regret that now. You got rid of it? No, I never owned silver. I, oh. I don't like Lugia, so I never got silver. Uh, and I never... Never thought to get crystal, because, like, I don't know. $43, that's not that bad. I wonder what the... How many Pokemon are Fire there Fire Red for three bucks, man. How many Pokemon yeah. are there right now? 700-something? Four bucks for a Leaf Green. I was not a fan of the, the Leaf Green remakes. Why? They were like fucking fire amazing. Red and Leaf Green. I was I just wasn't a fan of them. I, I'd rather play first the originals. Gen, but better. I didn't like the Orange Islands. Uh, man, we 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 got stuck on Pokemon. <laughs> well, that's fine. We'll, yeah, we'll draw on a Pokemon crowd because who, who the hell heart. doesn't like Pokemon? Oh yeah, now now we can tag them in our. Uh, now we can tag Pokemon <laughs> in the bottom. All right, so there's currently 721 Pokemon. Wow. Yeah, dude. From Bulbasaur to Volcanion. I can't believe how like the creators looked at some of these Pokemon and were like, "Yeah, yeah, these are these are good." Like the fucking, <laughs> the, the ice cream cone asshole. What is wrong with Vanillite? That's the stupidest fucking thing. Eat it's shit. It's fucking bad. 
Vanillite, Vanillish, and Vanillux are just, they're really good, though. They're no, dude, good Pokemon. That's, barrel, no, that's barrel scraping defined. What, the names or the Pokemon themselves? The, the whole concept. Both? See, like, the worst part the is, it's like, th so, like, they don't even need to scrape the barrel. Like, I don't understand why they were. Like, you have a pretty good setup of, like, creatures. We would, I feel like a lot of the community would be content with pretty much the same guys, but with different story. Like, I... Well, what, I, I don't know about that, man. I don't know. Like, what I love about Sun and Moon is, at first, I hated the island challenges and the totems and stuff like that. But, like, the more I'm playing, I'm like, oh, I actually like this. I like the, I like how the islands are set up more. It's, I like, I don't need more Pokemon because I, I'm going to get the ones I like anyway. Like, I have, you know, I finally got my Haunter. I've been delaying evolving Litten because its evolutions are stupid. Yeah, just keep it first stage. Yeah, but then I mean, it doesn't... I don't learn... I don't think I learn new moves though, then, do I? Uh, I have to evolve it to learn new moves. I don't think so. It's like, it's like a level th almost 30 now. Oh, wait, there's actually more Pokemon than what I said. This is only showing up to Kalos. I need the... Whatever the sun, sun and moon Pokedex is called, uh, the Alolan Pokemon. Alolan. That okay? okay there's that, there's eight hundred two. That really pissed me off. Actually, the Alolan Pokemon. Why? Why? Because the Alolan Meowth and shit is stupid. <laughs> you don't like Garfield? No, I hated that. <laughs> so I, I, I kind of hated how they made Nine Tails ice. Doesn't make I like any that. sense. Well, I like that because if you get a Nine Tails and an Alolan Nine Tails, you can cover, you know, two. Whatever. It, Listen, it's Kyle, good. gangster the, rap made me do it. That's not the point. Okay. Well, okay, so it looks like they turned a lot of the fire Pokemon into ice. Yeah. Yeah, so, Air, uh, Jake, if you just keep it a Litten until level 46, you'll learn. All the moves earlier, but it still learns all the moves. Dude, have you seen the what? How stupid the 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 Doug Trio looks in the Alolan uh, universe? They have hair. They have blonde yeah. hair. Did you see the Graveler? It's got big fucking eyebrows. Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> oh yeah, dude. All, all the Alolan like models are, are they're they're I think they're pretty cool, but. You know, I actually downloaded all of the 3D models, so if we ever get a 3D printer, I can just make us uh, 3D models. When did they When did them. they start doing Pikachu, like the female and the males having different tails? When did they start that? Uh, I want to yeah, say that, that black and white. Stop. Yeah, right? Like, I really do not like that fucking heart-shaped tail. <laughs> Like why does it? Why does the female Pikachu have to have a heart shaped tail? I don't get it. So you can tell them apart. <clears throat> Pikachu is the only Pokemon in the game that has a distinct cry that isn't just electronic garble. Not not in the first game. No, since the game started looking, I forget when when they actually started. I think that also might have been black and white when they added the the heart tail. They have the the woman who says Pikachu for the anime, say it in the game. But yeah. Also, Jake, why'd you pick Litten? Well, I mean, to be fair, we've also never really heard Mr. Mime talk, so... Uh, and why wouldn't I pick Litten? Because Rowlet. Um, Litten. Let's just not even go there right now. At least we can both ag agree that Pop Poplio oh, is fucking stupid. Which one? Oh yeah! Wow, that's the stupid seal. What, Jesse? Well, I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty savage, man. What? <clears throat> and you just pick the other idiot because it's a fucking owl. Yeah. This bitch told her four kids don't none of them have the same father because she don't make the same mistake twice. <laughs> Damn. 
Well, since we're since we've moved on and we're now talking about children, I, I, I have to ask you: Should children form emotional bonds with robots? Yes, they should. Probably. Okay. In Why fact, I think? probably think they're way way easier at doing it than fucking adults. You think kids can attach to robots better than adults can? Yes. Why? Yes, I do. Because, look, dude, look at look at fucking little kids and their cell phones. Dude, it's crazy. Okay, it, they would they would much rather be on their cell phones than doing things in real life together. But but they're still in real life together, just on their phones. I, so yeah, dude. Dude, I, I, I can totally see it. I don't know. I so that, like I was kind of thinking about this the other day, and uh, it's uh, I don't know if it's like I'm. I'm pretty sure I can. I, I'm. I'm sorry to cut you off there, Jake, but uh, I'm. I'm pretty sure that like like I could go to Google News right now and I could type in "kid stabs his mom because she takes away phone," and we're gonna find thousands of articles, dude. Thousands. I mean, I'm searching it. <laughs> Great, but no, I Great. was I was gonna say like I really feel like there's recently even with some of my friends, but I feel like with younger people too. Um, I'm not even that old either. Jesus Christ, I sound like I'm a thousand. But anyway, I don't know. Like, <gasps> I can I can I can hold my phone and like do stuff on it while someone's talking to me and listen to that person while they're talking to me. Like, I don't have a disconnect when I'm, like, on my phone. Like, some people will be so yeah, engrossed in their phone, like, they can't hear anything or see anything that's going on around them. And that drives me crazy. Yeah, but, Jake, the, the, the question is not that can can you multitask. The, the question is, can you exist in life without your phone for an entire day? Absolutely not. Yeah. yeah. Like, I, there have well, been times where I've forgotten my phone, and like, fuck, and then, like, yeah, lots of times I'll go for, like, try and find my phone and be like, oh, shit, I forgot, I don't have it. Yeah, And dude, it's annoying, okay. but I can go through the day. I wake up, you know, the first thing I do, just subconsciously, I grab my phone. I grab my phone and I check it. Like, I, I can't... Mean, yeah, the first thing I do when I wake up is I open my phone and delete all the emails I was sent during the night. <laughs> you mean archive them? No, I, I actually delete them. <laughs> um, so yeah. You see, Jake, that has a uh, that has a real a real name. It's called nomophobia. What? What? It's called nomophobia. What's that? Well, Google defines nomophobia as occurring in situations when an individual experiences anxiety due to the fear of not having access to their mobile phone. That's me. Oh. Dude, if I, if I don't, I put my phone in the same spot every time. If I don't feel, so we went, so when we went to the Renaissance Fair, one of the actors came up and picked my phone out of my pocket. First of all, I was ready to fucking deck her. And she's <laughs> like, oh, put this in the, your front pocket. You don't want people to steal. It's like, clearly I felt you take it. I was like fists ready to punch you in the face. Give me my phone back. <laughs> Secondly, when I had it in my front pocket and after I started getting a little tipsy and I didn't feel it in my back pocket, I freaked the fuck out. And I was like, oh, wait, yeah, it's in my front pocket. Anxiety is provoked by several factors, such as the loss of a mobile phone, the loss of reception, and a dead phone battery. I can deal with a dead phone battery because at least I still have my phone. Like so, I can be I can be disconnected for a couple hours, that's not a big deal. But like I have to have my phone on me still. Like my phone literally doesn't ever leave my side. Okay, so two things. One I couldn't oh find I couldn't okay. find anything about a, a child attacking their parent for taking their phones. I the only thing I could find is a parent throws yeah, a brick in teacher's face for taking their child's cell phone. Um, ah. And on what we were talking about uh, when I left work tonight, right when I texted you guys, I put my phone in my pocket and went to unlock my car. And then felt all my pockets and was like, oh shit, I think I locked my phone in the store. <laughs> After I had texted you guys. Oh my god. <laughs> because nice. I, because I put it in my apron pocket, not in my jeans pocket. What was that what was that nice. story? The uh you forgot your keys story? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was 
so back when I was still going to college, um, I was driving down the highway, uh, and I was about halfway to the train station, and I started patting down my pockets, and I went, oh shit, I left my car keys at home, I need to pull off at the next exit and go home and get my car keys. And like, I almost pulled off the highway because it didn't click to me that, I'm driving, my car keys are in the car, that's why they're not in my pockets. <laughs> like, it was pretty just, bad. You must have been really tired that morning. I can tell you that right now. Uh, that was probably one of the mornings I went to sleep under one of the tables at school. Oh my god. I don't think I've ever done something like that in school. You never slept under a table? Nope. No? Uh, no, no. Can't say I have. Yeah, I, I'd go up to the painting room and take all of the like blankets and shit that they use for backdrops and I'd essentially make a nest and cover cover the table and just go to sleep <laughs> cuz I I had to get to school like 3 hours early otherwise I couldn't park at the train station so there was you know I had a lot of time to do nothing mm, the good old times of being a starving artist yeah i'm still starving to this day Aren't we all? Not not starving. I I'm fat. I I couldn't starve <laughs> for like a month or two. <laughs> <laughs> Me on the other hand, I could probably starve in a week. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, you know how you could avoid starving, Jake. You could download this new app that lets you know if McDonald's ice cream machine is broken down. <laughs> Is that an actual thing? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I'm for fucking serious. How do they... I, I guess someone monitors whether the ice cream machine Have is working and then updates the app. drive through for a McFlurry or an ice cream cone only to be told that the ice cream machine is down? Oh, it's an iPhone app. Yeah, I was saying Ugh. we can't hey, get it. Hey, which is a good segue because you guys wanted to talk about iPhones and Apple. I did. What Jesse? was with the long exhale? <laughs> Where did what happen to Jesse? Did he quit? Did oh, he no, die? No. no. I'm here. Okay. I fucking blacked out for a second. Why did you black out? Oh, uh, what? What? No, no, no. I. Well, I, I, I mean, I kind of did. Okay, you wanted to talk about Apple. Yeah. Yeah, so let's um let's just talk about how um let's talk about how racist Apple is for a second. Okay. 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 Is this about their chief diversity officer? Um no. Oh. No, 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 no. And I did accidentally just close a tab. How do I get back a reasonably close tab? Right click uh, up what are on you the tabs using? and undo close tab until you get it back. There might be a hot key, but I don't know what browser you're using. It's Control Shift T. There you go. And apparently it doesn't work. Well, then well, just go to your goddamn history. <laughs> Aha, there we go. So yeah. <clears throat> let's um let's let's talk about how uh, how how Apple has released a new set of emojis uh, for Halloween. Christ. And uh, in in the emojis, there are different skin tones of vampire, from white to black. Okay. Now, I I don't know about you, but I, I'm I'm pretty sure. That, I mean that. that at J Jamie BBK, it probably puts it the best when he says, "I understand Apple's uh, on this equality flex and all, but uh, I'm pretty sure vampires won't complain with just one shade of gray." I mean, they are corpses. Wait, what are there? Multiple shades of gray? Y yeah. You might say that there's fifty shades of gray. Okay. Well, there's well, six, but. 
And then there's a yellow one, so I assume that's for Asian vampires. Or people with Simpsonitis. Right. Or John Right, right. Or or people very, very much so I don't know. Um, but if we're gonna be talking about shades of gray, that that segues nicely into my uh, six things you'll need to recreate the kinky fifty shades trailer. Uh, anyone wanna take guesses as to what items are on this list? Um, a dildo. Um, how many items are there? How many items are there on the list of six things you'll need to recreate? Oh, I'm the 50 so, I, didn't, I didn't hear the six part. Okay, so <laughs> you probably need like a dildo, a riding crop, chains, handcuffs, and um, uh, probably like an apple for like energy. You, well, you got one. Did I really? Um, I'm, Apple for energy. Yeah, yeah riding crop. I mean, if you're going well, for a in, while. In, in that case, I'm, I'm going to say a riding crop and a dildo and a fucking uh, leather swing no. and some fucking uh, some, some cat 09 tails and a fucking Taco Bell $5 burrito <laughs> box with a nachos <laughs> bell grande. We really need to get sponsored by Taco Bell how much we talk about I them. I love no, Taco Bell. You've, you've, you've both gotten the whip and that's it. Aaron, take a crack at it. Okay, first of all, a whip, a riding or crop whatever. is not a whip. Okay, they're showing a picture of a riding crop and they're saying a whip and you can buy it here for $9. Okay. Oh. Wait, so six things? Six things. A riding crop is one, a dildo is not. Both of them said dildo. That's not on the list. <laughs> Just double checking. <laughs> yeah, two Rude. so far. Oh yeah, yeah. Handcuffs. Didn't didn't think about. I said that handcuffs. Uh, I didn't hear you say handcuffs. Sorry. Well, we have proof. Um, <laughs> it's probably a rope involved in there somewhere. And Colonel Mustard. Lube? I yes. Oh wow. Wow. <laughs> how, how did I not think of so that? So Aaron's Aaron's three for three so far. Or no, he got the rope wrong. Yeah. All right. Um. One more, or two more. I don't remember. Yeah. Let's see if you can get it. Nope. So before before I, I give the big reveal, any guesses as to how much the, the six items come to total? Thousand dollars. No. Two hundred and eighty three cents. <laughs> little more than that, little less than Jake's number. <laughs> like wait, what did Jake say? A <laughs> thousand dollars. Uh like a hundred. Uh a hundred oh one. I'm really upset <laughs> that they didn't find something that was ten dollars more because it comes to fifty nine dollars. It would have just oh. been great if they splurged yeah. on like the the handcuffs or something. Yeah. So like. you you need an eighteen dollar vibrating ring, which you can get here at shopmenshealth.com. Uh. Uh, a riding crop, which you can buy here at Amazon. Lube, which you can buy here for sixteen dollars at Men's Health. A blindfold, which none of you said, from Amazon, oh. and handcuffs, also from Amazon. Although it's showing mm. fuzzy leather cuffs, so that's not really handcuffs. But yeah. Oh, th this is also now, on menshealth.com. Why the fuck? Is no, I, 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 don't, I don't know about you, but like, I put a rubber band around my finger for a while, <laughs> oh, and <God>. like... <laughs> I was scared for a second there. <laughs> Doesn't doesn't really feel great. So like, why would I want to put a giant rubber band around my cock? <laughs> I don't. I mean, do you want me to look up exactly why? <laughs> I'd rather you didn't. I. Well, no, I get it. the The idea is to like hold blood flow there, so that then that way you stay harder for longer and like. I mean, I was gonna find the eloquent science scientific it, but explanation. I think Jesse's yeah. got it down pat. Yeah, he does. You know, it's a good thing because if I don't look some like look up a link, I don't have to put a link in the description. So it's better this way. 
No, people just have to picture what comes out of my mouth. <laughs> Again. <Ew. Crazy. laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> that was. Uh, to, uh, Glad that's on the internet now. <laughs> <laughs> well, to. Since since I know Aaron hates that every podcast ends up in this area, let's just uh, side note our way to some palate cleanser. Uh, so okay, well in that case, you know what? I I have a fucking question to ask. Okay. Why why this is a this is a fucking desk slapper? Okay. Why is fucking Taylor Swift dead? What are you talking about? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, did you say Taylor Swift is dead? Why? Yeah. Are you going to go into some explanation here? Because so, I thought Taylor Swift was very much so alive. When you say dead, do you mean like her career is dead? Or well, she is no longer living? I'm, I'm thinking it has more to do with her career being dead. Okay. Oh, because she's terrible. Okay. Either that or she's artificially hyping herself up. I mean, first of all, so News. I'm, I, I'm absolutely okay with bashing Taylor Swift, even though nobody listens to us. First of all, now, she's now garbage. Listen. Isn't she from Norristown, Taylor Pennsylvania? Taylor Swift is a very nice no. hometown girl. She's okay. from fucking Reading. Uh, I understand we have oh, Mac Redding. Miller and Whatever. he's way better, but that's not the point. I thought it was Norristown. Okay. My mistake. Actually, I'm sorry. Clarification. She's from the rich Wyoming of Pennsylvania. Yeah. yeah, dude. She's from Wyoming. Oh. Anyway, um, so news of singer Taylor Swift's death spread quickly earlier this week, causing concern among fans across the world. However, the November 2017 the report has just now been confirmed as a complete hoax. Uh, rumors of her alleged demise gained traction on Tuesday after a Rest in Peace Taylor Swift Facebook page attracted nearly one million likes. Uh, those who read the About page were given a believable account of the American singer's passing. I'm not going to read it. Cause the link will be in the description. But yeah, so apparently someone made a Facebook page saying, Rest in Peace Taylor Swift, you will be missed. And a million people saw it and were like, Oh my god, she's dead! This so one Facebook page said it. Idiots. Uh, okay, okay, so yes, uh, um, uh, understandable that a million people are an idiot. Okay, <laughs> Are a <but> single idiot. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, yeah. Yes. She, no. she says she's like from the yes. deep south. Hang on, hang on, let me, hold on. I swear to God, like I'm not making this up. Okay, so seriously, I'm not... I'm not making this up, by the way. Yes, I know. I know which house she lives in, and it's a beautiful, expensive house. Or she lived in, sorry. But anyway, I know somebody who also grew up in Wyoming, who I swear to God, I'm not making this up, was in Taylor Swift's graduating class. I'm not making this up. She was never bullied in high school. In fact, the girl, no, the girl that she called out she for wasn't. bullying her, she bullied the girl. She was a bully in school. That's pretty funny. Yes, right? And this girl got all kinds of flack for being called a bully to Taylor Swift because Taylor I, Swift I, was I a have victim. Some underground proof of Taylor Swift going to a school very, very close to this undisclosed location. No, oh, it's yeah, very so, far uh, because we're in Detroit, remember? Apparently, oh, yeah, she. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Really, she far she plays from up Detroit. that she lived in Nashville, Tennessee, even though she, she was a country moved there girl. At 14. Mm. Mm. Like in, until it actually came out that she was born in Pennsylvania, Represent it was all I've always been from Nashville, <laughs> Tennessee. <laughs> okay, well, don't sue me, Taylor Swift, please. I really can't afford that. To to be fair. Right. She's not going to sue you for anything important, Kyle. She's going to sue you for a fucking dollar. Say she'd sue me for defamation. <laughs> no, actually, no. You know what? She'd probably sue us for a shit ton of money. Yeah. What, what money we, is she going to get just, from me? Just on principle. I was say, we have a whole f three viewers right now, and at least one of them is Jake. <laughs> 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 anyway. Ryan snitch on us to Taylor Swift. 
Dude, you know what? She knows she's a piece of shit. Dude, seriously? <laughs> nice. <laughs> she does. Like, have you heard her most recent song? All of her fans. All of, <laughs> all of her fans hated her new song, and she's losing a lot of fans. She knows she's a piece of shit. Like, let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's what I'm concerned about, Jake. Actually, is is I'm um, what I'm staring at right here is and and like I said, <laughs> a million people may be a single idiot, but like I'm pretty sure a million people are also a fake single idiot. Like I think a million people were fakely tricked into this. I'm pretty sure that like she paid that was off fake. all of them to you know hype no, up her shit. She probably paid off one dude to make fucking like a million realistic looking fake accounts. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how long so she has her own take? Danny. It, not that long, actually. You can make bots that just create emails and register for websites. Okay. Now, now listen. I'm concerned because so then on okay. Insta- now, I don't follow a whole lot of celebrities on my Instagram, but the ones I do follow, you, you guys are fucking amazing. So keep up the good work. You know, Nikki, Nikki, you're you're great out there. I don't I don't know what that shit was earlier, but <laughs> whatever it is, you you keep it up. But Taylor Swift, I I do not unfortunately follow, uh, and that is because um, you know I don't care. <laughs> but um, I, I did happen to come across a very popular link posted one day ago in Instagram. And it's been liked over a million times. And I guess it's for her new album that drops in three days, which would have been tomorrow. Well, by the time you guys are hearing this, it's not tomorrow. It's probably like three days ago, but... Are you implying that everyone takes way too fucking long to upload their stuff, Jake? Or (laughs) Jesse, whatever your fucking name is. Potentially. Okay, but... Now, now, like, like I said, what, the celebrities I do follow are pretty awesome. Now, when when they post shit like for a new album and stuff and blah blah blah, it it usually has a lot of likes, and it also usually has a lot of comments. Okay, so like, this has zero. What is what? it? It has no comments posted in an entire day, but a million people like this. What did what? they like? Disable comments? No. There's just no comments. <laughs> so there, it's like a million fake likes? I think so. Huh. I think she's artificially trying to hype herself up because she realized her her, pop, her, her popularity is falling, like you said. Well, it is. It's, it's it kind is. of fucked yeah. up, man. It, dude, our, absolutely, she's, she's terrible. I don't know if you've listened to her, but somebody had showed me her most recent song. I don't even know what it was called. It was like, it was mixed, it was like this dark song with like elements of like trap in it and like it was overproduced like the production quality was just garbage the mix of the song was garbage it was just everything about the song was was it on her newest album i don't know it was I'll a sing- take a- it was a single i don't even know oh. what the hell i can text heather there's by the way there's heather shout out and i can see what that <laughs> song was but uh, uh hold on let me just was it called Getaway Car? Uh, was it? Oh no! Is king of my was? heart. Oh, the King of my heart. Oh, the dancing. Her with Wikipedia our hands only tied. shows her 2017 album reputation, or is that what's getting Dress. released? Yeah, that's what's getting released. So then, the most so recent thing whatever, she's done was it's I don't want to live forever. That might be no. Fifty I don't think Shades that's it. Darker original motion picture soundtrack. B- End game. But yeah, so I mean. Oh, dude, she knows. You're right, Jake. You're totally right. Why? Are Are we predicting the fall of Taylor Swift right now? Yes, we are. Maybe. Oh God, I gotta go to Four Chan and let them know. Well, Taylor, I'm sorry, but it's it's coming. So. Uh, Don't hit oh, rock bottom. Oh my god, I just had one of those moments. I was like, I texted Heather just now, and she's like, uh, what's that? I was like, what's that trashy Taylor Swift song recently? And she was like, look what you made me do. And I'm like, wait, what did I make you do? <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's like, yeah, okay, I got it. <laughs> so That's, that's, that's on this new made, album. 
Is yeah, it? so that was the single that she oh. released for that album. It's it's garbage, like full on garbage. And I'm pretty sure it's like I don't know if she's still into that whole bashing Katy Perry thing or not, but I think it is something along those lines. Wow, that song had the most writers for it. it had her, Jack Anatoff, Fred Fairbrass, Richard Fairbrass, and Rob Manzoli. I don't know who any of those people are. Uh, are you on? If you go on All Music, you can get the full list of people. I'm just on Wikipedia. They're all horrible Jew aliens, Kyle. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! Wow. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me that it's Grays, Jesse? Yes. <laughs> what? There's some old Jewish men choking on bagels and salmon down in Taylor Swift's basement. What? Okay. Wow. Jesse. Jesus, dude. Seriously? It's <laughs> what I can imagine. <laughs> she forces them to write her songs for her, throws dreidels at them when, when they don't do what she tells them to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even No, Jesse, just fucking no. I don't I don't even know how to come back from that right now. Like I, I... I'm fucking dumbfounded. Alright. I'll i I'll tell you how to come back from that, Jake. With the new twenty seventeen fall fashion. Leaf brow. What? Leaf brow. What even the fuck is that? Well, you see, Kyle. Now, imagine that 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 your eyebrows could be as subtle as fucking gigantic leaves on your face. I'm gonna need a link, Jesse. <laughs> now. When 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 I show you this, please please remember when I said subtle leaves on your face. Okay. Oh boy, it's Instagram. I hope you're saving all of your links so I don't have to. Well, I mean they're going to be in chat, so not all of them. That's ridiculous. I love these comments. I'm Damn, cute. Love. What yeah. the fuck? Sexy. <laughs> subtle look. <laughs> that's, that's not subtle. Hold on. <laughs> Thanks to the fact that we're streaming this, I can actually can show this garbage on. Gr Grace Helberg. Gr Grace Helbig. 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 Wow. Grace Helbig. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but... That's that's not that's not it's not subtle. It's, I it's not it's not even. It it looks like a fourth grader drew on her fucking face with a crayon, dude. I like it doesn't look good. You might as well have just shaved off your fucking regular eyebrows and glued fucking leaves onto your face. I mean that would look better, honestly. I think. Yeah, yeah, it would. Want to be At mean, least that would be stand out ish. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm I'm sorry to your 1.8 million followers and your dick makeup on your face, but <laughs> what? Just just go to her fucking profile, dude. Really it's her. It's the fucking second picture right now. Wow. There's just fucking dicks all over her face. There are a lot of dicks on her face. I don't... One minute to dick it. Oh! How many dicks can you draw on your face in one minute? Not... Not that many. Not, actually, not any. Period. She has to draw as many dicks as she can on her face in a minute. 
Was it like now, Kyle? To be fair, she does have more we followers. Are, we are than kind us. of calling her out for her eyebrows. Yeah, we better not. We better not we, say bad things about her. We may have to accept this one minute to dick it challenge. <laughs> Because she, we can't, we can't be like making fun of people. Uh, who hold, have hold, a on, good hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. We're gonna see. I'll tell you what, Jesse. I can't. I'm not good at drawing on my face, so you can do the one minute to dick it challenge. No, no, no. It's it's got to. You got to be drawing it on yourself. That's what I'm saying. You can do the one minute to dick it challenge, but I'm gonna have to pass on that. All right, so so it looks like she gets like roughly around like ten to twelve dicks on her face. So we're we're gonna need ten to twelve dicks on our face, Kyle. I do not want <laughs> no. ten to twelve dicks on my face. <laughs> no, thank you. I know I know how we can I know how we can complete this challenge really fast. All right. <laughs> Nobody said we couldn't use a stencil. This is of true. Dicks. <laughs> And then just blast ourselves in the face with a giant <laughs> cannon of paint. Wow. That's... <laughs> Please, like, think about how you're going to phrase that. We're going to blast ourselves in the face. <laughs> with dicks. Yeah. With paint. No, no. With paint what color for paint? the dicks. Ah. See, see, there, there's my issue. I, uh, I, I completely misunderstood. You know, I'm still thinking about fucking bagels and salmon here. Like, Jesus Christ! Like, I can't even believe that. What? <laughs> what Jesse said earlier. Jesse said something about bagels and salmon. Yeah. How about the about the fucking old Jewish <laughs> man that Taylor Swift has locked up in her fucking basement, choking on bagels and salmon. I, I, I see. That's can't get the, that. there's a reason I just completely like didn't. I can't get it out of my head now. Like, I just keep. For First of all, now I want some bagels with salmon. <laughs> like, that's delicious. Very delicious. But um, Jesus God. fucking Christ. Tell me you've never had bagels with, like, fucking salmon. I'm not a fan of salmon. Wow. <laughs> it's just there in the background. I'm, I'm sorry I don't like salmon. I just... I, I don't like fish in general. Sea kittens. Yeah, I'm. I'm not a fan of the, them. Their sea kittens. Probably Ooh, not. That sounds kind of good. Mm. Yes, because they, you know, contain crab. Mm, yum yum. Yeah. I, oh no, I. I don't like uh, crab. But thank you for being considerate. Ah. Oh. I guess. That's not it either. Fucking hell. What? Oh, it's a thing, Kyle. What's the thing, Jesse? <laughs> there are many things. Okay, but what is this particular thing? Now, did you ever wonder about how many things there could be? <laughs> what things are we talking about? At least 12. <laughs> not, not how many things there are. How many things there could be? I'm going to go with at least 12. I like that answer. <laughs> all right. All right. That's, that's a good answer. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure the actual answer is, you know, some, somewhere close to, uh, what th you know. What things uh, are we talking about, though? Um, it, it's like, like things, man. Yeah. Like, Just like stuff. things that aren't, yeah, like, like stuff. Like matter. No, 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 like, like, things. <laughs> Jesse, <Okay. clears throat> could you elaborate a little bit, please? Well, I mean, some things don't make a whole lot of sense. Yes, most things that come out of your mouth don't make a whole lot of sense. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> But now, th there are some things that that really just can't be described as as anything other than things. <laughs> Tell us what you're fucking talking about, or give me a link and I'll read it. There, there you go, Kyle. I, I have I have no words for this one. Copy. <laughs> 
I can't. <clears throat> I absolutely Captain can't. Captain America. <laughs> Make Dorothy Captain America great Dorothy again. He's bringing Princella. drugs. He's bringing crime. He's a rapist. It's it's two cents. It's had to ca- come to support my friend at Suck Lord at his group show at <laughs> Bruce Lori Gallery in Culver City. This was my favorite piece. Put Is it a Mexican? The, uh, put that in the show. That in the what you call it, whatever. But it's now what I'm. What I'm pretty sure this is somewhere along the line is this is probably like some sort of art exhibit. Yeah. Maybe. That's exactly what it is. I hope so. Because this can't be real. This can't be a real thing. Well, I'm going to Google it. <laughs> there it is right behind your face, Jake. <laughs> Make Captain America great again. Captain America is a mustachio wielding, green fish suit wearing, drug bringing, crime lording rapist. But apparently, yeah, so, so is Quinsella, Door the Explorer, and uh, that fucking mouse from Looney Tunes. So, what he. It's because Speeding when Gonzales. Trump said he was going to build the wall, every, he, he said that the Mexicans were rapists and drug addicts and some of them were good people but everyone was like oh, t- rapists and drug addicts uh, so yeah so so you're saying that this is an american protest yeah against trump sure good that, was a that that actually that actually makes me happier than it have being have been like some strange chinese knockoff product <laughs> which is what i thought it was initially until, until looking further into the comments, where yes, it does appear to be in some sort of art gallery. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're just getting back there? You're ju- I was going to say, you're just getting to the subtle look of that? Uh, also, in... in 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 that respect of of that of that what what i actually thought was fairly racist and, and not being racist at all can can we just talk for a second about how the ghostbusters are pretty racist which ghostbusters any of them all right in you, fact the original ones are interest. probably the most racist because they're the ones that started it Okay. Elaborate. Explain yourself. Yes, please. <clears throat> well, w- what I'm looking at here is a fairly creative, uh, you know, Halloween costume uh, of some kids that are dressed up as the Ghostbusters. Okay. Okay. Uh, and 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 the quote says, uh, "A naked girl can get thousands of likes, but how many can our troops get?" And that's that's from Daquan at at Instagram. What does okay. what does how many can our troops get have to do with a child? I don't know what it has to do with kids dressing up as the Ghostbusters for Halloween, <coughs> but I will certainly tell you that somewhere along the line, I do not think that these three little kids here know or are friends with this black kid. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure they were just like, "Hey, we need a we need a black kid. I'm, Can you uh I'm a little come lost. stand here for this picture?" Oh, okay, I see what you're getting at. <laughs> so now, like, so who's racist? Would it be more Jesse. or less racist if the entire cast of Ghostbusters was white? Uh, why would that be racist? Probably, well, it wouldn't be either, but the internet will tell you that it would be so much more racist because it's excluding. uh... I actually believe the internet would be split down the middle, 50-50. By the way, leave that in the comments below if you you want to uh, 
you know, decide whether or not the Ghostbusters are more or less racist if they were white. But actually, I want to know on top of that, would it be more or less racist if they were all black? Would it be more or less sexist if they stayed all men or if they were all women? But we already found ah, out that... But of course, Kyle, we have found out <coughs> that would be less sexist as girls are not funny. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No girls are funny. It. Listen, Aaron. No, no, no. I don't think what, you understand what, how the internet what, works. What I'm, what, what I'm stating here, Aaron. Hold on. Is is that because there is one token black guy in the Ghostbusters? Here it comes. Okay. Now these three little white kids here had to go out and forcefully make friends with somebody of a different race that okay. maybe they were scared about doing in the first place. Okay. So like is that racist? Thank you and good night. <laughs> but ha yes, you know, like, you're missing out on a whole factor of things such as like people's experiences and upbringing and everything else that affects how they see other people. So, right. Like, you're just asking if No, he he's asking if did were were these kids racist before or after they decided they were going to be racist? Like did did they have a black That's friend? Did they have a black friend before they decided let's be ghostbusters? Oh wait, we need a guy to be I forget that one well, name. Well, this is useless hyperbole then because we don't know any of that. We don't have context. But for Jesse might. <laughs> he's a I don't know, he's fucking a seer. <laughs> now I don't now yeah, I'm just going to put <laughs> the more concerning question, I think, is what does all of this have to do with naked girls getting thousands of likes, but our troops not getting any? That's actually a really good point. That is a good question. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> By the way, leave that in the comments below. <laughs> or in the live chat. It's, it's up right now. And this concludes our segment of Convoluted Conversations. Hello, Seca Fox. I see Jake Seika. already. Huh? Seika. Seika? Yeah. Whatever. Come on, know your shit, dude. <laughs> Jake, are you worried that by 2022, 55% of the U.S. households will have voice-enabled smart speakers? No, I'm not. I'm... Are you sure? Yes. What do I have to hide? What do I have to care if people it's, are spying not, on me? It's not that you have something to hide. It's, it's just like, I don't like my privacy being just fucking destroyed. Your privacy has already been destroyed. What? Maybe, Jake, you like to waggle your dicks into jars of mayonnaise, okay? <laughs> you don't want that sound being sent to the CIA. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what if you were just like... No, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh man, it's the dude to mayonnaise. Oh. First of all, first of all, if I am waggling my dick in mayonnaise, which I'm not, <laughs> I would uh, really appreciate it if the CIA could hear that because they would know how I feel about them then. Nice. I mean, I guess that's sort of the same opinion Matt has on it. Like, when, when I told him. I don't know, man. Jake likes the CIA enough to stick his dick in a jar of mayonnaise, so... Well, I I, uh, I once told our friend Matt that it's kind of, uh, every night at midnight, his iPad, like, the information gets sent to Apple. Like, everything you've done on your, your iProducts gets sent to Apple, and they use it for, like, market research, in big quotes. Hmm. Every website you've been to, everything you've typed is forwarded to a central <clears throat> apple server and probably no one looks at it but someone could and i told him that expecting to i'm glad i do everything in private mode expecting to get doesn't matter i was i was expecting to get like <laughs> a uh the, a, the same kind of result i get from telling that to mike but instead what his response to that was is well i'm glad someone at apple gets to see the copious amounts of porn i consume <laughs> Okay, so okay, so this is what my thoughts are in this are that was a really awful sentence structure. Anyway, so 
you know if you have an Android phone or probably even certain apps on um, Apple, uh, Google logs literally everything, every single thing you've done. So every Google search, every app you've opened, every time you've opened that app, everything, everywhere you've been. So, okay, they allow you to delete everything. Now, does that information actually get deleted or is it stored somewhere? That's what I want to know because, like, I don't, I don't care that that information stored. Like, it's, it's actually kind of cool to see everything that I did on like my first Android phone. But like, what I want to know is if, if you actually do end up deleting that stuff, like, if it's uh, deleted for good, or if it's actually being stored somewhere else. Because after you figure after a certain point, that's that's a a lot of information. I mean, in comparison to Matt's copious amounts of porn and. You know, like, imagine how much information is being stored just for one person, and if there's probably a lot more people like Matt, so probably <laughs> copious amounts of porn everywhere. <laughs> like, I'm sure a Google search text file of... Oh my god. That goes way deeper than I thought it did. Th- what? Phrasing? <laughs> <laughs> mm, what are you talking delicious. about? <laughs> so, other than... <clears throat> Other than the fact that I'm dying. Yeah. All right, good. And the fact that I can buy really fucking cool-looking holiday sweaters <laughs> from a uh, Gamus Gamus. <laughs> Gamus, if you want to come and sponsor us, I'll be sure to wear your holiday sweater. Uh, not that anyone will see it on uh, said we, podcast. I mean, we but can just throw up a picture of you wearing a sweater forever. So, uh, oh, what? I, oh, <laughs> Jake, listen, <laughs> Try, whatever, Jesse. Okay. Now, Kyle, I, 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 I remembered what I wanted to tell you about. Okay. <laughs> okay. You, you remember, you remember how yesterday when we were standing around in the shop and yeah, and and we came across this thing. Okay, so I couldn't I couldn't find the actual article that I came across the first time, which is the one that I was I was telling Danny about. Okay. Uh, but but there's a there's a second other article that's that's related to it. The the first article is that. Um, <clears throat> hmm. Somebody happened across. Uh, Steven Spielberg, I guess, on the set, or maybe. I don't know if he was there or not. But wh- whether or not, they, they had one of the giant animatronic fucking uh, triceratopses <coughs> tied to a flatbed truck. Okay, and somebody took a picture of it and was fucking absolutely just fucking outraged. <laughs> That they would tie down such a mighty beast to a truck. <laughs> that 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 if you t- it wouldn't be it would it wouldn't be comfortable if you tied a human to a flatbed truck like that. So how fucking dare we attach a triceratops? So, so how dare we do that to such such a majestic creature? <laughs> okay. Now, now I I remembered seeing such a thing like before that that was talking about Steven Spielberg and and a, and a triceratops in the in the one scene of Jurassic Park <clears throat> but i i didn't know like when i <clears throat> when i originally saw it i i didn't think i i thought that the person that originally posted it was just like oh li- like like look at like like totally outraged like that person but no it it turns out that actually the first person that kind of started all of this off was, I guess, uh, internet funny person Jay Branscom, who who posted a picture, I guess, that he found or took of of Steven Spielberg laying next to like or like sitting next to uh, a dead triceratops, <clears throat> uh-huh. and and it was captioned. Uh, disgraceful photo of recreational hunter happily posing next to a triceratops he just slaughtered. 
Please share so the world can name and shame this despicable man. Okay. But apparently some people actually fucking went off. Like... <laughs> And like, th- like this one guy, uh, Penelope Razor Backhand, uh, he's he's a disgusting and inhumane prick. I'd love to see these hunters stopped. I think zoos are the best way to keep innocent animals safe. Assholes like this piece of shit are going to these are going to these beautiful animals' homes and killing them. No different than somebody coming into your home and murdering you. That's what that's what's so so selfish about people that hunt. They're uneducated and their way of thinking is, well, these animals are overpopulating and they're going to die anyway. Well, human beings are overpopulating and guess what? If we were to kill an innocent human being, it would be used as an excuse that we'd be in prison. And I think it's time to say that the things about animal rights, Steven Spielberg, I'm disappointed in you. I'm not watching any of your movies again, animal killer. Okay. <laughs> So, so, so that, that's making me really wonder now, like if, if somebody else got a different picture and is, is trying to start the whole thing again, or like, are they just legitimately outraged like that fucking guy? Because I remember seeing that and I remember reading through some of the comments and most of them were like that. <laughs> people that have no chill and don't understand that it's a fake that it's not a real that is not a real triceratops which in that case I'm very can fuck I'm very fucking confused as to what we're teaching our fucking kids in school in fact I'm wondering what we were teaching four fucking years after I was out of school because something has to have fucking changed that kids don't understand or fucking parents don't understand that 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 fucking triceratopses are not real. <laughs> but Jesse, they are real. How, how- Kyle. <laughs> now, <laughs> while I understand that they really move, <laughs> and that and that sometimes on the screen they can they can look very realistic okay <laughs> the dinosaurs are fucking dead how okay how they're fucking just fucking you? dead what if they're not dead all of them Kyle <laughs> yeah Jesse well, you, you just alienated all of our dinosaur listeners how fucking dare you Good. <laughs> but it it honestly does, dude. It honestly makes me concerned because like the the people that it, it the people that got trolled are legitimately outraged. Like they do they actually think that triceratopses are real? I'm yeah. I'm fucking astounded, dude. What happened? Like I don't think that. So how does somebody else of my age group Think that way. I'm that- I'm fucking <clears throat> lost, dude. Like, uh, <laughs> I I can't. Like, is is this really where humanity is going? Is is it is it really? Uh, are are, are are we getting smarter or are they getting stupider? Or are you correct? Is the bell curve fucking disappearing? Oh, this is a good. Or is there going to be no bell? Are 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 the fucking our tuning forks not going to make any sound anymore? What's what's going on here? Like, is our world changing? Is fucking gravity going to flip itself around and we're going to start pooping out our mouths because we can't figure out which way is up and down? What's what's going on here, Kyle? <laughs> Kyle, how will you retort? So, I want to explain what he just said about the bell curve thing, because the other day we were talking about, um... Someone said... One of his, his fucking friends was talking about how 
the world is fucked, but a bunch of people, a select amount of people, or a select number of people are just getting smarter. Pe- people in general aren't getting dumber. There's just people that are increasing intelligence. But I believe everyone else is getting fucking retarded. He thinks just people are going down, and I said I have to disagree, but agree with both. I think, in, for the most part, the smart, the people that are smarter are just getting exponentially smarter, and the people that are dumber are getting exponentially dumber, and no, the center of no. the bell curve is just disappearing. No. Okay. What I think is what's happening... The bell curve is inverting. I think that uh, the smart people <clears throat> are staying smart... And the consumers are probably the average consumer, I would assume, are the people who are getting stupider. I I don't even think stupider is a word. But I consider myself an average consumer, Jake, so I'm not getting stupider. Mm, I wouldn't consider you an average consumer. I wouldn't consider... I don't believe that that dinosaurs are alive. (laughs) All right, good. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm no, it, it's good. <laughs> it's, it's a good thing you don't believe that. <laughs> I, 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 so, 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 like, I, I get what you're saying, but, like... What do you, what, I, I, what do you think, Aaron? You haven't input at all recently. A- Aaron? Aaron's involved in his fucking crap rice rangu dish. or whatever the fuck. All right, he's good, good talk, Aaron. Um, <laughs> some some sort of fucking crab. I don't risotto. know. I think I think average consumer is probably the wrong word to use because I mean, <clears throat> I don't know. I just think people. <sighs> I, I I get what you're saying though. Like the the average person. The, I what I think the problem is is people trust everything they hear automatically on. Just anything. Like on any that news Taylor outlet. Swift story. What Taylor Swift story? Which honestly, Jake. Where the people just saw a Facebook group oh, oh, saying oh, rest yeah. in peace and everyone's like, Oh my god, she's dead. Well you can even you can even compare that to when those people made the thing about how Avril Levine was dead and then they're like, No, this was this was all a lie. Did we like she there wasn't another Avril Levine. We made this up just to prove a point that uh, you know, uh, rumors Ooh. can circulate on the internet like that and then people were like no no this is actually still true even though they were like no we made this up they were like no this is still true she's dead so a good you know another good uh, example of that is uh, dihydrogen monoxide oh, Jesus my favorite. Christ you- now <laughs> it's the most dangerous chemical on the planet even a small amount of it can drown a person Aaron or <laughs> Jake. Jesus Christ, can you not ever get our fucking names right? No, I'm tired. Eat shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, L- listen, listen. Okay. Now. Uh, <laughs> I- I'm not, I'm not sure what that has to do with people getting smarter and, and stupider, but like. Everything. Uh, I- well, it, it, it explain, please. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> really? That was very I dismissive. <laughs> Good. It, Good argument. It has nothing and everything to do with it, Jesse. So, uh, I know something I'd like to talk about. Maybe you okay. guys are interested too, so I can segue off of this conversation. Yeah, good. So, uh, iPhone X just came out. I've been wanting to talk about this the next time we had a podcast. I wanted to talk about before it came out, but hey, now it came out. So let's talk about the iPhone X. It's worth a thousand, or it sells for a thousand dollars, and people. So Wait, someone hang on. took it, took it apart, and found it's only like three hundred seventy dollars no. worth of parts. Okay, so let me let me. The base model is a thousand dollars. If you want the higher gigabytes, it's like fourteen hundred dollars. That's a computer. That's like so, a high-end gaming computer. I only spent seven hundred dollars on my gaming computer, and that thing runs anything I want. That's why I okay. said high-end. I Sorry, uh, seriously I though, I don't know how you feel about this, Jesse. Being you know, right. since you have an iPhone and everything, but like, I actually, I I despise iPhone. I think it's for oh, I do. Too. I think it's for people. I hate the who thing. Don't want to understand their phone and just want to 
an easy device. It's for it's an everybody phone, and it's that's what's good about it. Everybody can use an iPhone because it's very you, simple. You know what's fucked up? It, it it's hard for me to use an iPhone because you're used to I, having I, actual features. Yeah. <laughs> Well, see, and, and that brings me, but that 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 doesn't bring me to anything. Actually, in thinking about it, well, it, it it brings me back to something. It it brings me back to what we were talking about originally, which is that people are fucking afraid to lose their phones. Oh. Like, well, I was gonna say th- people need to understand, man, that like, you know, twenty years ago it was fucking nineteen ninety seven, and we didn't have cell phones, like. See what we didn't have cell phones like this. We didn't have access to the internet easily. If you wanted to fucking get a hold of your friend, you sat at home and waited for them to call you, or you called them. That was always yeah, an option. Or that. See though, what I was gonna say though, I <clears throat> really, really wanted this to be an awesome phone. Mm-hmm. Like I honestly, Steve Jobs may have been a bit of a stealer, but let's be honest. What's that famous quote? Good artists. Something and great artists steal or whatever that fucking quote is. <laughs> what you know? It's the fuck. If Aaron was here, he would know. It's the one that's like something about how like good artists borrow, great artists I- imitation steal. is the finest form yeah, of flattery. Yeah, like that was Steve Jobs in a nutshell. He took ideas from other people, but he made it work. It just works. But I really wanted the iPhone X to be an awesome phone because I thought like, oh, this is going to be the ode to Steve Jobs. This is going to be a great phone. But like the literally the technology that's in in this phone. So basically the the task or the 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 bar where the cutout is, is basically an Xbox Connect, which, by the way, they stopped. They stopped making the connects. Finally, they're they're done making them on a side note. Oh, um, there's nothing at all special about the iPhone X, and you know, there's the the Animoji thing. A company recently, I, I somebody covered this. I don't remember who. A company was suing them for the the rights to that software or the name. I can't remember, but there's nothing what? special about the phone. I wanted something to be special and shiny what about the fuck this is phone. Animoji. Basically, it's you know how Snapchat you can like put the dog ears on your face and whatever. Okay. It's basically a more advanced version of that where it actually does full face tracking. So, like, you can put, if you just look up anim, iPhone X hand emoji, you'll get a bunch of videos. But you're basically just putting your face on, like, a dog emoji. And, like, the lips move very fluidly and, like, the nose, the oh, eyebrows. Oh, I just saw that on uh, Twitter, actually. Yeah, and it's pretty cool, but, like, nothing stands out about this phone at all. And I hate it. I can't stand it. So uh, that's why I'm strictly a Samsung person. Okay. Yeah. Bigsby sucks dick, on a side note. Now, 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 Jake. Now, would you, um, Jesse? Would you prefer if, uh, if the iPhone 10 had a nice set of uh you know scraggly and kind of hairy and twitchy balls hanging from it why well why you might ask uh other than and 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 this is um th- this is this is probably something we should start doing as a segment that I like to call why are, what what why are these facts Okay, <laughs> but but apparently they are, and uh, you can thank at Uberfax again on Twitter. He's an awesome dude. I don't know who he is, but whoever he is, he's fucking awesome. At Uberfax, you're awesome. Uh, just so you know, you can't say the word happiness without saying penis. Wow! Okay. Thank you for ruining the word happiness for me. <laughs> uh, That's pretty good, actually. But on on that same note. Um, so apparently, if you would like to live longer, Jake, you must give up your balls. Okay. Castrated men, on average, seem to live longer, uh, than non-castrated men by 14 to 19 years. Did you know that? You know, frankly, 
you know, those unless immortality is, is discovered in those 14 years, I don't really care. I mean, if I had no balls and was immortal, Kyle, I would want to kill myself. That's why I'm saying, unless immortality is discovered in those 14 years... You know, no, no, you're... Kyle, you're not understanding. Oh, yeah, if, if you castrate yourself and then they discover immortality, then you've got to go through the rest of your life without... you, you got to go through the rest of eternity with no balls, so... Although, <laughs> if we discovered a way to make humans immortal, I'm sure they could, you know, just slap a robot dick on you. At that point. Bada bing, bada boom. Literally. Nice. No. Not, not, we're mm -hmm. not touching that one. Bada bing, bada boom. Robot dick. Ah. <laughs> uh, you know, I, I had a friend who was, uh. Had a robot dick? <clears throat> who was, who was really into Inspector Gadget. And I said, dude, why, why, why? Like, I get it, okay? Like, he, he's he's kind of a cool, like, cartoon thing. You think? You know, going on. Inspector Gadget. Wii U. Dr. Claw and shit and a fucking dog. Yeah. Alright. He's a cool dude, okay? But wh why, why would you be, like, absolutely obsessed with him? Because he, he has said, a robot dick? Dude, think about it. Inspector Gadget, and he just like thrust it at his dick, and I was like, "Dude, if you ever fucking point at your dick and call it fucking Gadget Dick again, we're gonna have some problems." Go, go, Gadget, make a dick. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> okay. Oh wow. Guys. Wow. Wow. Did you know that there's fake cocaine? Good. Yeah. What's, uh, what's the news? So, so, so Jonah Hill snorted so much fake cocaine while filming The Wolf of Wall Street that he got bronchitis. Wait, there's so, fake uh, cocaine? Don't, don't do fake cocaine either. What is fake either. cocaine? I'm very confused, and I don't understand. I'm a little scared. Why are you afraid of fake cocaine? I mean, it it could be real cocaine. You never know. We, they might just be calling it fake cocaine. Maybe it's real cocaine. They just don't want Jonah Hill to go to prison. Or, or they just don't want him to overdose, so they just call it fake cocaine. So then he just he doesn't think he's actually getting high. And it's kind of like that placebo effect thing. So like him getting bronchitis was basically him overdosing, and like nobody wanted to actually tell him that. So okay. That's that's the way. It's the way drugs work, right? Absolutely, Jesse. Don't think about it. Just don't think if, about it. If you it. don't, if you don't think about it, then you're not you're not really doing those drugs. Yep. That's <laughs> I mean, you never know, man. I'm I, I'm still though like I'm very confused. What what is what is fake movie based cocaine? Uh, like fake <clears throat> movie cocaine. Uh, like what do they use? What is it? How? Because how, whatever it is, it gives you fucking bronchitis. How do they fake cocaine in movies? Uh, powdered superfine sugar or powdered milk. Ew. Ugh. Baking soda probably is the exact same texture Ew. milk. That's usually what cocaine is cut with anyway. In movie... Well, okay, what... In, so in the movie Blow, they use vitamin B powder. That actually makes sense, because you basically just piss all that out anyway. Vitamin B powder? Ew. That's it. Let's snort Monster. 
Is there vitamin B in Monster? Yeah. Okay. A shitload of it. <clears throat> All right. Like, dude, I'm I'm pretty sure that like. There's so, like, because of how much monster I consume, like, there's so much vitamin B that, like, if I took a piss and you held a black light up to it, it would just fucking glow like a neon stream, dude. <laughs> Is vitamin B fluorescent? Yeah. Oh, okay, so anyway, um, I actually found the article. It's, uh, it's, uh, alternative dot, uh, al alternate dot org, whatever, I don't know. Anyway, so it says... Quoting, uh, I did so much fake cocaine in Wolves of Wall Street, I got bronchitis for three weeks and had to be hospitalized, Hill, uh, Hill explained. It's powder, or it's vitamin powder. It doesn't matter how much, uh, because you ingest that much more into your lungs, uh, you'll get very sick and you'll, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I, I never had more vitamin D in my entire life. Vitamin D? Yeah, it says, yeah, you'll get very sick. And when I was literally doing fake coke for like seven months every day, I never had more vitamin D in my entire life. <laughs> I could it have would... lifted a fucking car over my head. So, right. I mean, I guess if you're, if you have that much vitamin D, it's almost like walking on the sun. Jake, you're, you're very far <laughs> Oh, sorry, away, I, yeah, I moved for my microphone. I was reading. I was trying to. I can't see my goddamn screen because I'm blind. I don't have my glasses on. Well, put on your fucking glasses, you I idiot. I don't know where they are. I left them upstairs. By the way, pop quiz. Ready? Good. Oh. Okay. The highest grossing uh, me media franchise of all time is Star Wars. Well, That's it's not really a quiz if you tell us the answer. <laughs> 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 all right, it's Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars, yeah. Or it would be. Oh if my god, else is it Fifty Shades it of Grey? What what is it? The highest grossing media franchise of all time. Thomas the Tank Engine. That beat out Star Wars. Thomas the Tank Engine. Something that has to do with Christmas. No. no Harry Potter. No. 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 Final answer. Nope. What? Oh. You, you were pretty close, though, with Harry Potter. Well, I mean, you were closer than Rings? Thomas the Tank Engine, I'll say. <laughs> what? My first answer was Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> How is he closer? How was I closer with Harry Potter than Thomas the Tank Engine? No, how Jake, are you do you want to... I, thought, I thought he said you were closer with Thomas the Tank Engine. No. <laughs> okay. Now I understand. I, I don't know, actually. I mean, technically, I guess maybe you would be closer with Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I'm, I don't know. Fucking what give it? me an answer. Oh, it's the Pokemans. Oh. oh, my God, the new Pokemon movie. Fuck, I really wanted to see that. Is it in the same animation style as the new show? It's literally a remaster of the of the oh, original po Pokemon movie, I Pokemon think. Pokemon 2000? I think so. Oh. And you got like some special playing um trading card when you went to see the movie. Just like in Pokemon 2000, you got the Mew card. Oh my god. Now I'm upset. I can probably buy it on eBay. Do we, can, is it still in theaters? Oh my can we see it? Guys. Yeah. In order to keep your brain and not have Alzheimer's, okay, <clears throat> not only do you need to sleep on your side, obviously, you also need to be fucking the whole time you're doing it. Okay, good. Great, <laughs> I'm glad. Just non-stop, 24-7 <laughs> fucking. Yes, because staying sexually active in an old age is linked to higher cognitive functioning and a sharper mind. All right. And just just so you know, in in a segue there. Let, let me just let me just ask you a question. Pop quiz. Who do you think discovered sex? Uh Adam and Eve. <clears throat> now, you'd think you'd be close with with that. But uh in fact that that would be wrong, Jake. <clears throat> so um you you wanna you wanna give it a second try? 
who discovered sex? Yeah. The Europeans. What the fuck are you talking about? Like, like who invented sex? The Europeans. God? Uh, again, you, you'd think you'd be pretty close, but you'd be wrong. Dinosaurs? I don't fuck. What kind of fucking <laughs> answer are you looking for here? Like, <laughs> actually, dinosaurs was pretty close. Cavemen. Close. Fish. Fish. Oh Jesus Christ! Am I right? According to scientists, <laughs> fish were the inventors of sex. Oh boy, how do you the, at the, Uber facts. the first things to evolve? Do I have gills, Jesse? <laughs> yes. Yes, you see? I'm telling you, Jake. I think it was me that you were having we are this weird argument weird alien with. fish people that walk upside down on roofs, okay? I'm sorry. What? Listen. <laughs> don't don't think don't don't act like you don't know, Kyle. I, I, mm, Jesse, <laughs> I don't I don't even fucking want to know what you're talking about. All right. Well, other than the fact that we came from the sea, okay, and are some sort of weird alien race put here by genetic engineering. Okay. <clears throat> and that, yes, we probably did have gills at one point in time. Okay. Once we stepped out of the sea, we, we then lost all bearing to move within 3D motion, okay? So, now we just cling to whatever surface is below our feet, but we happen to be hanging upside down because at any point <clears throat> on the earth, up is not up, okay? <clears throat> because up is down for another point. It's it's equal but opposite point. Jesse, are you a flat it's earther? It's also up and down. I, I have to ask. W regardless <laughs> no, of whether or not no, shut the fuck I believe up. the earth is flat, Kyle, still at one point on the earth, it's going to have an opposite point where it's going to be up and down. But, maybe. that That's not the point. Okay? I'm so the, confused. The earth could potentially be flat. Hey, that's, hey. Not to cut you off, but to absolutely to cut you off. Um, did you know that apparently sheep can identify uh, celebrities? And Barack Obama, specifically, according to this study on live science? How do you feel about that, Jesse? Well... You, you can train sheep to recognize the old president of the United States. As, um... I mean, now, while that probably would come in handy... If we ever lose Barack Obama and need to find him, the sheep can hone in on him. Right, right. Just have a mass gang of tracking sheep. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not... Mm. A mass gang of tracking sheep... Okay. <laughs> Do you understand how fucking stupid that sounds? <laughs> Do you understand how it's better than whatever the fuck he was talking about before? <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesse, now, Jesse, what were you talking about before? Fill me uh, in. I was, I was talking about how we're all weird spider people that walk upside down on the ceiling. Because down is not actually down. Down is up. Jesse, do you understand how gravity works? <clears throat> do we need to go... Th and up is not down. Do we need to do this again down where we explain is, to you well, how some up, force of nature works? Down. No, no, Kyle. Like black holes? I, I, get, I get how gravity works, and that's, that's what's keeping us, you know, connected to the Earth. Aside from our, like, sticky feet, which I'm pretty sure is gravity... But gravity is just on our so, feet. So okay, so let me let me ask you this though. <laughs> if so, if I were to jump, would my sticky feet let go and I would float off into space? Obviously, that's your web just keeping you connected to the ground. Now, now, Jake, 
While you do actually have mass and weight, which will still pull you back to the Earth in, in some sort of gravitational pull, okay, there, there has to be something there that keeps you planted all the time, which, which is clearly your sticky feet. Okay. I can't. I, I fucking can't right now. <laughs> now, I've come to this conclusion, okay, based on one scientific fact. Oh, yeah? What's that? Here it comes. Just, just, give, me, just give me two seconds here, Kyle, okay? I just, I just want you to think about this for a second, okay? Are you ready? Yep. Um, yeah. Are, are you ready comes. to have your entire world literally turned upside down? And anyone else listening is going to be like, "Holy fuck, I'm 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 brain fucked here." Like there's there's literal shit coming out of my ears. Uh, my whole world has been turned upside down. Okay. okay. I want to know. Think about your eyes. Think about how they work. Now, your eyes work in a way that takes an image and flips it upside down and makes it right side up so that you can see it. So this monitor that I'm staring at right now is not orientated. You know, if I were to oh, step back in a Jesse, third person I need to, perspective I, I let him finish, let him and, finish. And, and, and pull a camera out of my head, Kyle, and just kind of be behind myself but disconnected from myself, I would actually find that the monitor in front of me is, well... Well, what would appear to the camera to be flipped upside down? No. Or the camera would be flipped upside down. No, no, no. I need to pull up a diagram of how the fucking eye works. Jesse, an image comes into your eye right side up. It, right. it hits your pupil, inverts the image, and projects it to the back of your eye upside down. So then because we're of... seeing everything no, upside down. No, we're not! <laughs> So then everything is actually upside down. No, Jesse, like I said, Jesse, Kyle. Jesse. I'm done. A lens, when something hits a lens, the image gets inverted. So your eyeball, the outside of your eye, your, your retina, it's a lens. Right. So the right side up image yep. hits that. Got it. Now it gets flipped and broadcast on the back of your eye. So now, right. in the back of your eye, the image is upside down. Your brain interprets that and flips it back right side up. So it flips twice. It goes from right side up to upside down, back to right side up. Now so listen. it's right side up. It's never upside down except the image of it on the back of your eye that your brain fixes. Now, Kyle. If, Jesse, if it was in fact upside down... Once it hit the back of your eye, it would be right side up, and then your brain would interpret it as upside down again. So, Kyle, if we evolved from something else, don't don't you think that's kind of just like an an unnecessary step? It's to me. <laughs> like like why 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 can't we just? It has nothing see? to do with how we evolved, Jesse. It has everything to do with how. Light interacts with lenses. If you okay, so if okay, you had a, I get if you had a it. Then, big flat, then, yes. If instead of this, having eyes, if you just had a flat organ on the front of your face that accepted like radio waves or could interpret radiation like uh, uh, the film on an X-ray does, and just get a blanket blast of the, the photons reflected, sure, you wouldn't. Th there would be no flipping of the image required. Right. But you'd also have to have a huge flat organ that you'd have to point directly at something for a good amount of time for it to absorb an image. And then, because it's being based on, you know, radiation like that, it wouldn't, you wouldn't get detail. Look, right, look, but if, look at but, an x ray. But if we are correctly designed and created, Kyle, why couldn't we have that? <sighs> Like, okay, so like are you just if, are you just arguing against something else. religion right now? You're, no, you're arguing no, no, against no, no, creationism. No, no. You're. I'm. 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 Maybe I'm arguing against both. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> look the 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 whole the whole point is 
Okay. Okay, Jesse, like, let me let me explain to you how evolution works real quick. Oh God, I'm back and I come it, into this. It, it, <laughs> the, it, the reason our eyes work the way they do is because over thousands of years, while things, or right. hundreds of thousands of years, while things were developing into what eventually turned into humans, right? Things Listen, had Kyle. tons of different. The sensory image being inputs twice as far. And okay. at, at some if, point, if we were the designed one that worked the most in the image of a perfect creator, okay, or evolved from something that was designed in the image of a perfect creator, okay, then don't you think that second flip is an unnecessary step in no. in the seeing <clears throat> process? Well, no, you, it happens literally instantaneously. That's what you think. Oh my. Okay. okay, so microseconds Jesse, are not instantaneous, Kyle. So I, I'm looking at my screen, and then I move my eye to my second screen. How how many fucking lifetimes has actually passed in your mind, Jesse? From the zero. <laughs> <clears throat> it, um, probably like roughly around I don't know a hundred thousand microseconds or something like that. <laughs> <clears throat> that's that's not the point. <laughs> the the point is is the the unnecessary step. So we didn't we didn't evolve, man. We we were we were designed this way on purpose. We we, we is see it so, things is it so right we side up. See the like, fucking see like see the no, truth, we man. We don't like we we see things upside down. It, people the, 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 okay. <clears throat> So, Kyle, uh -huh. on on the point of uh, on the on the point of uh, you know Steven Spielberg murdering Triceratopses. Okay, we're going okay, back to this. I I, I just want to I just want to <laughs> take you back and and tell you that that you know we did find proof, in fact, yes, that dinosaurs and humans existed at the same time. Wait, I'm there's, sorry, what? There's proof of that. Okay, yes. A, a, like, roughly around 20,000-year-old Triceratops horn was found. Okay, and for that to be true... Can we fact check then that? Then that dinosaur would have had to have existed with humans. Or at least what our base ancestors of humans would have been. Okay, so... If that's, if that's actually true, then either humans and dinosaurs <coughs> existed at the same time, or... I'm correct, and all of humanity is fucked, okay, because we're all believing in computers and, and various things that we have no actual physical proof about, like how old anything is in this literal entire, entire universe. <clears throat> it... it it, it doesn't make sense to me, okay, that we can believe carbon dating, okay? Car carbon dating doesn't make sense to me. You feed an item into a computer, and the computer tells you how old the thing is, okay? Do you understand how carbon dating works, Jesse? It, that doesn't matter. It does, actually. <laughs> now, Kyle, wh while you think that understanding how carbon dating works... Matters. If you if you don't it, believe it doesn't. carbon dating and you don't understand how it works, that could be a big factor as to why you don't believe carbon dating. Now, Kyle. Yeah. My whole point is is uh -huh. I, I could I could type in that I, I I could type into Google that you know in 1995 San Antonio, Texas had a gigantic flood, and guess what? I'm probably going to find something on that. You know why? Because humans have programmed that to say that. Okay, somewhere along the line, somebody probably made a fake website. That's not the point. Okay, we programmed the computers that tell us how old something is Jesse! when we carbon date it. <laughs> We, we can't okay, be trusted Jesse, on Jesse, that. Jesse, I'm just gonna go okay. ahead. Science <laughs> is flawed. Aaron, please tell me you're here. Aaron, 
should 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 we not do we, do we need to outlaw so, science because shamans can call down lightning strikes? <laughs> now, while that would be an amazing and awesome power, I, I don't believe that shamans can actually call down lightning strikes. Okay. <laughs> But science is definitely fucked, dude. We don't have any proof. It's all based on humans. Okay? And humans obviously can't be trusted. We, 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 look, look at fucking humanity, Kyle. People believe that humans and dinosaurs d existed at the same time. Now, I'm not saying that I'm not one of those people that believe that humans and dinosaurs existed at the same time. I do. I believe that. But... Either our, either our entire fucking existence is much, much, much older than what it should be, or it's fucking way younger than what we actually think it is. So, we need to stop making up these crazy fucking numbers, like, hmm, dinosaurs existed 6,500 million years 65 ago. 65 million. Now, Jesse. Whatever. Because... I, I, I just, I feel like I have to explain to you how we figure out carbon dating, why, why we know when things... We didn't figure it out, Kyle. No, we did. Some guy said, you know what? I Je want to write a program Jesse, that tells me how It has old nothing to do with is. computers. I'm going to set a date of like, I don't know, some ridiculous number, like a hundred million years. Jesse, you know are what? You done? It's going to go back that far. Are you done? Do you want to know how it actually works? I mean, I know it'll shadow, shatter your little whatever view, but so the way carbon dating works is carbon has a half-life, at which point it, you know, it reduces it, the, the number of electrons on it, cut in half, or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah, I know. we have been able to observe how long it takes for it to hit a half-life. Yeah. So, knowing what kind of carbon occurs... In living creatures, we can take old bones and see the carbon that's in them and see how long it, it's been exposed to the fucking world by how how much of the original... Now, now Kyle, hold on. I have to stop you right there, okay? Because what what you said is that is that we know how long it takes for it to reach its half-life. That's incorrect, okay? We don't we don't know how long it takes for it to reach its half-life, okay? Because if if we're going on that, then we're going on the fact that we're basing everything on a convoluted system of time that nobody actually has a reference to. So You're right, no, Jesse. In fact, Seconds the are too long and minutes man are a joke and <clears throat> hours should be half an hour at most. Agreed. That's that's what I'm saying, man. We can't we can't trust humans anymore. <sighs> no, we can't trust you anymore, Jesse. We need to change the topic. <laughs> Listen, this has nothing to do with you know me being some sort of weird cybernetic robot thing. Hey, Jake, do you want to hear some bad news for you and me? Sure. What's Cutting up? back on alcohol can prevent cancer. That is bad news. I know. <laughs> we're, uh, be because we are casual drunks, we are probably <laughs> going to die drugs. of cancer. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, <laughs> we're probably going to die of cancer before either of the other two in here, since Aaron can have, like, a shot before he's fucked, and I don't think Jesse I'd actually knows really, what beer is. I'd actually really well, hate to admit this, but, like... The other day, I went to the bar with some friends, and first Why of all, we did this shot. Why wasn't I invited? Uh, I don't know, because, well, it was people from work, but anyway. So first of all, they actually, they made me these shots that they, basically, I had no choice, and they made me take. It was, it was called an oh, iced sure. tea, or no, green tea. It was, it was Jameson, peach schnapps, and, Ooh. and, uh, sour mix. Kay. Dude, it tasted exactly like, like, you crack open in Arizona, it's, that's what it tasted like. It was so good. Nice. Yeah, it was great. But then, like, I did, I had, I think I had three beers that night, and I had four shots. I We did, and I was, like, I wasn't drunk. I was, like, feeling pretty good at that point. And that was, like, two hours, I think. 
But um, we did a fucking. This was disgusting. We did. It was uh, it was a whiskey pickleback. The fuck is that? You get a you drink a shot of Jameson, and then you drink some pickle juice, and then you eat a pickle. Hence pickleback. Ew. So, like, I know it's a Russian thing to take a shot of vodka and then eat a, a pickle, because Ew. the, uh, well... The, St- still a new. Well, no, it actually, it doesn't taste that bad. It actually but, didn't. But the, the reasoning behind it, Jesse, is because uh, the reason you get so hungover is you get super dehydrated, so when you eat a pickle, you're getting back some of that water and a shitload of electrolytes. And yeah. so it keeps you going longer so you can drink more. And you get less of a hangover in the morning. It's apparently Russians mm. often chase vodka with a pickle. You know, we haven't drunk in a while. We should do, like, a, a drunk, drunk cast. cast. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, well, we all need to meet in one location to do that. Well, that's what I mean. Like, we'll all hang out at your house. We'll set up the, the white room like a studio. We'll get some lights, camera... <laughs> action will record and by that time i should have all my little lavalier microphones and everything and it'll be good that'll be nice when 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 are you getting those uh when i'm not broke yeah when's that gonna be i don't know (laughs) hopefully not too much longer All right, where, where where are we? We are at a mm. two hour mark. Okay, I think it's time for a little game. Oh, I, I I think it's also time for a little game called um, "Do you remember what your grandmother said to you?" Do, do you remember what your grandmother said to you, Kyle, when when she said, "Oh, so Kyle, Sonny, you know, you can grow up to be anything you want in the world." And then you thought, you know, grandmother, I could probably grow up to be a carbon dating scientist. Oh Christ! <clears throat> okay, and that that might be good for you, Kyle. But in March 2015, <laughs> a Georgia teen was arrested for stealing a goat. Okay. He was going to ask the girl that he liked if she would go to prom with him. Okay. Do you think that child should be a fucking rocket scientist, Kyle? Maybe a brain surgeon? Okay, well, I just want to say... Maybe do you think he should do chemistry? Rocket science is not that hard. Brain surgery is. Uh, Chemistry is harder than rocket science. But... uh, What? I don't... I'm so confused. Maybe, maybe, maybe a good, good course in liquid gastronomy... What? No. So, no. what game are we playing? Yeah, please. <laughs> please tell me. I like games. So, <laughs> on on Tiffany and Company's website, they have a uh, a an everyday objects line of jewelry. And so, I'm gonna read you off. Wait, aren't you gonna ob- aren't you gonna like start this segment with like a like a really snappy intro. Um. But do 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 do. The time is two hours five minutes and thirty seconds. I'll add in music and post. No, I'll do all that. I did all that last okay. time. <laughs> Eat shit. Anyway, so. Um. I'm gonna read you off a, a, a the, the name of a product, and I want guesses on how much it costs. And I'll I'll tell you whether it's high or Ooh, low. I got this. I'm I'm I frequent Tiffany's and Co's website. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know. I just have really expensive taste. For some so. reason, I don't not believe you. All right, so we'll we'll start easy and uh, fairly. Fairly cheap, I guess, with, uh, well, there, there was one, all right, yeah, so, an Elsa Peretti corkscrew 
in sterling silver. <clears throat> well, I do have to say that, uh, you know, Frozen, it's a very um, influential kind of movie, so I would expect to, I would expect to pay extravagant prices for this item. I'm thinking like roughly somewhere in the range of like thirteen and a half thousand dollars. <laughs> You're a little high there, Jake. Oh my god. Uh let's see. So it's a cork it's a silver Tiffany's corkscrew. I'm gonna say two fifty. Oh wow. Ding ding ding. You were fairly close. It was two hundred twenty five dollars. Ah, well so this is well, this was prices right I would have lost. Yeah, you went over. Thirteen thousand dollars for a fucking <laughs> corkscrew. So Well uh, I mean if if Jesse wants to highball it, I suppose we could always take a look at where the fuck was it? Um, the wonderful and extravagant everyday objects ball of yarn in sterling silver. Clocking in at a no. modest. That's that's got to that's got to be roughly somewhere around like eight eight, eight to eight and a half thousand dollars. Uh, I'll say eight hundred and fifty or eight eight thousand five hundred and one dollars. <laughs> You're just going to be closer than Jesse. <laughs> uh, it, it comes in at $9,000. Wow. A ball of yarn. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I, I need to add in boop, 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 the, the window. For a ball of yarn. No, none of you guys are watching the stream, right? No. Okay. Well, then I, I can. Wow. I can show the. Items on here. Well, I'll, well, I was watching it, but I'll close it. So, R random, random Uber fact: the color orange was named after the fruit. Terrific. Before that, the color was previously referred to as yellow red. In interesting. All right. So, uh, how about my friends? The Everyday Objects coffee can in sterling silver. Well, the soup can was ridiculous, so I can imagine the coffee can is probably going to be roughly around, like, I'm, I'm going to go with five five $5,000. I'm going to say 2000 Jake was closer. It's 1500 The uh, the 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 tin soup can that he's referring to was, in fact, a thousand. It was uh, sterling silver and vermeil. Ver vermeil. All right, so l let's go to a fun one. <clears throat> this uh, everyday objects marker in sterling silver and Tiffany blue enamel. Does it wait? Does it work as a marker? I'm pretty sure it's a permanent marker. Hmm. It's in like pe baby powder blue. The bl the black marker is also the same price. A marker, not nine hundred dollars. <throat> it's a little high. Seven hundred. Oh, mm. seven hundred and fifty dollars. Damn for hmm. for a sterling silver and blue marker. Um, whoop! I just blew up chat instead of. Grabbing my web page. Uh, oh, here's a fun one. This always lovely. Ob uh, bloop. <clears throat> Everyday objects. Sterling silver. Stainless steel with sterling silver golf putter. Uh, so hmm. a real putter? Yeah, it's just it's steel covered in silver, so you probably would never want to use it. I was gonna say fifteen hundred well, originally, I but I think I'm gonna go more on the two thousand range. I, I actually I think I'm gonna go less, like like more like right around nine hundred dollars again. Really? Uh, well, the everyday objects golf putter clocks in at. Two thousand three hundred and fifty dollars. Ah, damn. 
for a you fucking see, I figured golf putter. it couldn't be much if it wasn't solid. Yeah, you'd think that, but uh, you would be sorely incorrect. All right, uh, so we're going to do two more. Uh, the first one is Everyday Objects Domino set in American Walnut and Sterling Silver. It's a single mm. domino. So imagine that, imagine that you sounds, wanted to buy, uh, you know, like a hundred of these to, to make an actual domino, uh, you know, whatever. Set. How, how much is a, a single one? $58. A little, little higher than that. Just, just a little bit. Jake? $72. <laughs> so, I don't know. A domino. Like, okay, so... It's either going to be like crazy, crazy expensive or like 1500. Trevor, are you are you looking at the stream cuz it's exactly $1500? No way, is it really? It's exactly $1500. Wow. I, I swear to god That's I'm not absurd. looking at the screen either. All right. And so I got to decide what we're going to do for the last one. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do two more just because this one's ridiculous, and I want you guys to guess on the everyday objects yo-yo in American Walnut and Sterling Silver. Oh, man. A yo-yo. Dude, if I had a fucking blinged-out yo-yo, the things I would never do with that... Because, God forbid, you scuff it. <laughs> What's it made also, of? Also, I'm really terrible at yo-yoing. Is it like a Sterling Silver but, uh, yo-yo? It's Sterling Silver. The, the core is American Walnut. My my guess is going to be uh, like like eighteen eighteen fifty. I'm going to go with eighteen fifty. No, it can't be it's that little, much. A little too high. Jake, sorry, I mean, I'm bad at it haggling. It would make sense for it to be close to the the domino, <clears throat> like you would think it would be around that price. But I don't know. I bet you it's a lot cheaper than that. Yeah. So where, where's, where's your guess going to go, sir? This is a tough one. A yo-yo. 280. That was fairly close. $300. Ah, oh, shit. So far, Jake's wow. winning. He got one item spot on. <laughs> uh, okay. Do, do we want to go with the so, everyday objects Chinese food pillbox or... The ice cream scoop, or there's... Oh, here we go. This is a good one. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Everyday objects, crazy straw in sterling silver. There's also one in rose gold and gold. I believe they're all the same price. I could be wrong about that. A crazy straw. Yes. $500. Jake? What what's the what's the one you're looking at made out of? Is it the silver one? Silver. Yeah. Okay, so uh, three three uh, three hundred. Three twenty five. <laughs> it's two hundred fifty dollars. Ah, damn it. The uh, I'm gonna find the gold one real quick. There it is. Yeah. Uh, Christ. How much? Wait. How much did you say the silver one was? Three hundred. Oh. There, the silver one was two fifty. So the gold one's got to be three fifty. Yeah, is it really? It was. It was in fact three hundred and fifty dollars. Nice. Yeah, the silver one was two fifty. And say so it had to uh, been an extra hundred bucks. Yeah, and so the the, the where the fuck is their walnut on this? On the straw. No. Everyday objects triangle in sterling silver. It's a ruler. It's, it's a triangle. I, I literally have a plastic one sitting right here for doing uh, perspective. It's just, it's just a triangular ruler. And they want 400 fucking dollars for it. This is... I don't understand Tiffany's. Or a bean. A bean? <laughs> a bean? A bean. Like, Elsa Peretti bean paperweight in sterling silver. Hmm, it's a paperweight. So... It looks like a kidney bean. 
Hmm. $1,800. A little bit high. Really? I figured that would be like way expensive. I don't know. For I'm the bean, it's uh, three fifty. Two seventy five. <sighs> All right. I I know. I said you know whichever ago is going to be the last, but this is actually the last one. Everyday objects bird nest in silver with Tiffany blue porcelain eggs. Jake was away. I I did. <clears throat> I did talk about this one in the pre-show, so... This has to be crazy expensive, right? If, if, if Jesse can recall, he'll have an, an upper hand, but... I, 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 I actually can't. I, this I, don't, is, I don't remember I, this. This is probably crazy expensive, right? Like, this is, some, this is probably like $10,000 or something. Um, I, I'm, I'm gonna rough... I'm gonna say, like, five grand. Well... Considering I can't remember. It's probably Jake, stupid. Jake, at this point, I'd like you to put in the little victory music. Oh, is it? Um, oh my God, are you serious? A it's fucking exactly ten thousand dollars? No, it, no, it's not. A bird's nest is not nice. ten thousand dollars. A sterling silver bird's nest with see Tiffany this. blue porcelain eggs. Oh yeah, I do remember that. Oh, yeah, he, you, you guys can look at the entire page. It's right there. But <laughs> Jake's the big winner with getting two objects on the nose. I told you he I know my Tiffany's. Had, had the most close uh oh my God. close guesses but he did say that he regularly shops at tiffany's or frequents tiffany's website so i do i like he was tiffany's. At a bit of an advantage you do like tiffany's i do like tiffany's so so i i just want to i just want to say like some some rich people are obviously you know cool some of them are obviously pretentious fucks oh there was like, a cheap one like uh, like John Travolta. I I can't tell with him, man. I can't tell if he's if he's a pretentious fuck, or if he's actually a cool person. Okay, because he owns a Boeing seven oh seven, and his house is a functioning airport. I just saw a thing about looking inside Keanu Reeves' custom motorcycle shop. Okay, and and seventy percent of millionaires surveyed don't consider themselves wealthy. What? Okay. So so those people are probably pretentious fucks. Okay, but when a secretary at Apple was late because of car trouble, Steve Jobs gave her a Jaguar and said, "Don't be late again." Okay. Now does that make him a pretentious fuck? I mean, the fact that he was just able to buy a Jaguar and be like, here, have this, and don't you dare ever be late to my place again. That's sort of... I'm sure it was a little different than that. I'm sure he was just like... I bet you it being him, he probably was like, here, don't have car troubles again. Here's a Jag. Maybe. I don't know. Huh. I found the really cheap thing that I was looking for. Um, it was an everyday objects paper cup in bone china set of two. How much is it? Ninety forty eight bucks. Ninety five dollars for paper cups. Damn it. For two paper cups. Paper, paper. Well, it says in bone china, so I assume it's actually made out of ceramic. China. Yeah, but still, it looks like paper cups. Also, I'd buy them. Of course, you would. Did did you know that it's 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 even expensive to commit suicide in Japan? How much does it cost? I don't know. I'm not I'm not too sure, but if you commit suicide in Japan by jumping in front of a train, your family will be billed for the disruption fee. I have actually heard that before. <laughs> that's so fucked though. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's pretty fucked. Also, uh, Kyle, uh-huh. you know, I just, I just want you to think about who's becoming the world leaders of, of this uh, day and age and generation. And, and then I, I, I want you to, to remember what you said earlier about science not being fucked. And, and then I want you to think that in 2013, a coconut was detained 
by Maldivian police on suspicion that it was rigging the vote of a, pre of a presidential election. Okay. Kyle, it's a fucking coconut. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever say that the Maldives people weren't fucking idiots? No. Well, good. Now you've alienated our Maldivian fucking audience. <laughs> How many viewers do we even have right now? I don't. I, no one's watching. Yeah, no one's watching. Though, though, in lesser good Korea, <laughs> up until 2015, it was illegal to cheat on your spouse, and if you did, you were fucking thrown in jail for two years. Interesting. Yeah. So I'm gonna send you a link to something really quick and look at it really quick and then look away. What does that look like to you? Shops. Uh, that looks like pecs and nipples. Right? Yeah, it dude. Looks like nipples. It's two birds kissing. It's, it's totally <laughs> a big fucking gorilla chest. <laughs> right. All right, then I want you to look at this real quick. This $125 scarf that looks like a torn paper bag. Um, a what? Excuse me? Torn paper bag scarf. That's ridiculous. 100% silk. That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. $125. It's in Tiffany's Tiffany Blue shop. <clears throat> oh, they sell nipple rings. At Tiffany's? Oh, they're cufflinks. They just oh look exactly like nipple, nice. really? nipple rings. Nipple rings, though. <sighs> <laughs> That's what they look like. <laughs> I'm actually really pissed off when I went to New York. I never actually got to go to Tiffany's New York, New York. Well, you know, what's her face was b told me you were bitching about it. I know. Why is there, there's an under five? Oh, price is no object. Okay. The, the price options on Tiffany's are 250 and under, 500 and under, or price is no object. I was just looking at high jewelry, it says. High jewelry. The 2017 Blue Book. So, anyway, I think this should be where we conclude our podcast oh, and move on to the post show. Oh, really? I mean, it's... Two hours and twenty minutes, so it's getting up okay, there. Okay, well, I, I think we need uh, one, one, one more news story. Um, well, you know what? Off of twitter.com slash weird news. Um, and then we can let Jesse continue with whatever the fuck he was about to say. Did Did you know that? Did you know that if if you if you can understand a pun, Kyle. You're a very special person. Why is that? Because anyone that doesn't understand a pun is is probably retarded. I mean, you know, might be on the scale somewhere. All right. All right, we're done here. No, 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 to, no, 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 no. To <laughs> understand a pun, your brain's right and left hemispheres have to work together due to the unique structure of the joke. Okay. So, because of the way a pun is formulated, if, if your brain doesn't function correctly and work together, then you don't get it. Like, people who think puns are annoying is, like, probably retarded. I mean, I, I get puns. But they're obnoxious. And I still hate them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But at least you get them. Um, so, the, 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 the story I just wanted to end the podcast on is that three times this year, Denver police have taken people into custody overnight and forgotten that they had them in custody. Good. <laughs> Damn. Good. I, and I, I have... Damn. <laughs> so, can you imagine getting picked up put in a holding cell to, to be transferred somewhere or, or even to like, you know, have, have your processing finished and no one comes back. So you're sitting there waiting 
and waiting. And then finally, someone comes to open the door with another person to put in the holding cell. And they say, oh, I didn't know anyone was in here. Wow. <laughs> they literally just forgot about you. Three times people have been forgotten in Denver police. So if you're going to get arrested, don't get arrested in Denver. Don't don't go to Denver. Come to Detroit. <laughs> At least it's way better. No, uh, come to oh, what? Where was where's, where's the place that uses "We're not Detroit" in their in their welcoming videos? Chicago. Oh wow. So look, okay, guys. Cleveland. Don't feed your children. Okay. O only only let them see things like. Like, like, I don't know, CPUs, and Mario, and, and fucking iPhones, and, and shit like that. Okay, don't, don't feed them, okay, when they're babies. Because <clears throat> a baby's most likely to have their first words drawn from visual experiences. So most words for mealtime objects are often the ones first learned like bottle so don't give your kid a bottle okay give your kid you know scientific research papers about how to carbon date things right and then spray milk in its face or just throw it at it from a cup no you know what i'm gonna do if i ever have kids i'm gonna make them listen to like classical piano music from like the day they're born until like the you know I want Until they're 18 and can legally emancipate themselves. No, I want them to. I want them to, basically develop the language skill. Like you know, when you're a kid, the 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 language part of the brain listens to everything around. That can actually happen with pianos too, and the notes, and that's actually how you develop perfect pitch. Because you cannot develop perfect pitch later on in life. It's something that you're basically born with. So, yeah. Why do you want your child to have perfect pitch? Are you going to push them into being a singer or something? No, I mean, well, I mean, I'm not going to have kids anyway, let's just face it. But, um... Why? Because I don't want kids. What's wrong with you? What? What's wrong with you? Children are the future. The future's going to be awful unless intelligent people put, have children. No, that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me, Kyle. Have you, you you've Good. seen Idiocracy? You you know what happens when only the fucking dumb that's, pieces that's of shit have children. This this whole podcast has has been about how fucked the world it is. It has Jake. been. Like, well, and see, that's why the next podcast we do, or hopefully not the next one, pull out your dick and stick it in the ground because you're fucking the world right now by not having kids. We're also going to be doing a, a Christmas theme podcast, so look out for that. I mean, it is November. December is next month. So, so it'll yeah. Be hopefully, within the next month. So, thank you for joining us on uh, another wonderful episode of uh, On a Side Note Podcast. Also, visit Cleveland. We're not Detroit. Um, and keep a lookout for our uh, excellent um, Christmas theme episode. I can't wait for that one. Also, please like and subscribe and. Uh, donate to our Patreon. Kyle. We don't, we don't, we don't beg for likes and subscribes. <laughs> yes, here. we do. Okay, and, and if you, and if you feel in such a way that maybe we're doing so or that we shouldn't do so, feel free to leave that in the comments below. <laughs> no, and then, and then actually, also yeah, like no, and comment that comment. He's right. Don't, don't. It doesn't matter if and you then, like and subscribe. And then feel free to unsubscribe from us as well. Well, subscribe. You don't need to like our videos, but just watch a bunch of our our, our gaming streams all the way to the end. In fact, I so full heartedly have... agree that maybe you should dislike all of these videos. <laughs> <laughs> we need subscribers and we need watch time. So please contribute to that. All right. That's In it. fact, just just leave the video all right, on so and go you can just away. Just mute it. Just play all of our videos at the same time in a bunch of tabs. And uh... don't 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 actually not do that. Instead, you should totally do that. Jake Jake's growling, so I think we should probably go. <laughs> all right, good night or morning Fuck. or whatever. Good night. Tomorrow we eat the moon on a glacier.